So a viewer asks, uh, Linda Joe, as a matter of fact, thank you, Linda Joe. Um, will Russian people know what the West knows? And I think the answer is coming to us now. But I'll do the reading. Uh, the question, I was a little tardy in getting it uh, uh, filmed. But here we go. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's very helpful if you would. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, view, viewer questions are the favorite thing I do. So if you have them, send them in. And Linda Joe has a good one. Will the Russian people know what the West knows? But you've got to remember, they've been lied to, some of them, for you know several generations. Well, all of them for several generations, as a matter of fact. So um, we'll take a look at that. Will the Russian people know? Interesting. Okay, so good question from Linda Joe. Thank you, Linda Joe, for your question. And uh, she asks, will the Russian people ever know what the West knows? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so will the Russian people ever know themselves <clears throat> what the West knows? Well, let's see what the cards have to say about that. Will the Russian people know what the West knows? And of course, the situation here is that uh, the Russian people have just had a script, been given a script to follow. Um, many of them had inklings of the truth, I would suspect. Um, I would guess it was the younger generation. And uh, some of that older generation who are just uh, uh, completely entrenched in the lies. But I mean, people feel uh, very uncomfortable uh, with their truths in Russia, or a, large, a lot of the people. So, <coughs> Linda Joe, will Russian people know what the West knows? But first, let's take just a minute for meditation. You may wonder, how do I choose how long that uh, meditation stays down? I read it through twice. So um, I hope that that's enough time for you to read it through once or maybe twice or more, depending on how quickly you read, if you decide you know, to participate in that. Certainly not obligated to, obviously. But um, so, Linda Joe, thank you for asking the question, Linda Joe. Will the Russian people ever know what, um, what the rest of us know? Very interesting. Six, again, another full Celtic cross. But we'll do the six in the beginning. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Will they know what the rest of us know? We'll find out, won't we? At least what the cards say. Can't do more than that. So, signifier card. Uh, will the Russian people know what the rest of us know? Thanks, Linda Joe. The sun. This is yes, this is a huge yes card. So the sun is shining light on an issue. This is, uh, it's obvious uh, what the sun card is. So let's just leave it at that. Major Arcana, number 19, right up there in the fool's journey, almost at the end of his journey. The challenge to that is this nine of swords. And the nine of swords is just a nightmare. The challenge to this sunshine is that the truth is a nightmare. Wow. The base of this reading is this two of coins. The two of coins is finding a, a, that perfect balance of value. So you've got a generation or more who their whole value is wrapped up in their, uh, like most of us, being a member of our country, a citizen of our country, finding pride in that. So two of coins, finding a balance. You've got somehow they're going to have to find a balance in the pride for their country and then learning what the country did. I would guess it's almost like learning that someone that you love has, has been lying to you and has done something horrifying. And you have to now find some justification for loving that person against to what they've done. Loving that country against to what the country's done. The past of this reading is this three of cups. Well, this is hopeful because this is coming together in an emotional celebration. Cups are emotions, compassion, and the three of cups is certainly lots of celebration. Significant that it's women here. I believe that uh, the feminine side and perhaps even specifically uh, women are what's going to um, 
save this, uh, find the answer to this. I can't imagine a mother having to justify her love for her child against some horrifying thing that they've done, uh, but that's what a mother would have to do. The sky of this reading, uh, with this ace of wands, it's a big plan. Plan, wands are plans, uh, forward movement, uh, action, and uh, so yeah, this requires a great big ace of wands to get this thing uh, sorted out, I would guess you could say. Okay. The likely outcome for the first part of this, then, is this queen of coins. So yeah, the, the queen the coins are value, worth, sometimes money, but the queen is certainly, um, you know, in, in, in a major um, player in the value, in her own value. Of course, so Queen of Coins goes to the very, almost the very highest point it can in uh, the outcome, finding value, and I guess that feminine energy again. Let's go ahead and take four more cards, finish that off. Linda Joe asks, "Will Russian people know what the West knows? Will Russian people know what the West knows?" Four more cards. First card, the self of that question: Will the Russian people know? Is this Knight of Coins? Well, you know, the knight coins, of course, like I say, are value worth uh, something solid. It's the earth. And the knight is the member of the royal court who's going to fight for that value, who fight for that worth. Um, so this knight of coins is telling us that uh, the very self of this question is, is, is fighting for what you know is valuable. In this case, we're talking about truth. You know, what the rest of us know that, that many of the Russian people don't know. Um, it, uh, the... Uh, environment that that's in, but before I want to reveal this, it, it occurs to me that uh, fighting for your value is just um, perhaps the, 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 the hardest, the knight would have face the bloodiest, the hardest uh, job of all, uh, justifying their value. The, um, uh, the Ten of Swords. So the environment that finding this value is in, the Ten of Swords, typically this is depicted by Ten Swords in the back of someone laying prone on the ground, you know, a complete end of a cycle. So the environment that finding the, this knight has in finding this value, the environment that it's in is this merciless killing environment uh, that all of that's in right now. To the source. Uh, the hopes and the fears for this, will the Russian people know, is the knight of coins. And the uh, knight of coins is a very... Um, uh, uh, it's represented by usually by uh, a very rich woman showing uh, to the world just by the manner of her dress the wonderful things she has around her. This very extravagant owning this beautiful peacock, only an, an extravagant uh, uh, person or a person who was able to afford this extravagant thing. You know, someone a, re a peasant would have a chicken because they know they can get eggs and then they can eat it. But this woman has a peacock just because it's beautiful. So the um, uh, hopes and the fears for this, whether the Russian people will know, is that eventually they will know and uh, and find value in that knowledge, I guess. Uh, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing, will the Russian people know, is just three coins. Love that one because it's value, it's money, it's uh, it's uh, of the earth, and it's coming together for to uh, put something up for public display. We have a church in the background here. We have a steeple. We have the three of coins. And again, we have the women going to the church, carrying that value right on top of their heads. And uh, I think I think it's beautiful. So yeah, they'll know. They will know. Um, they will. Just to talk about it one more time quickly. So will the Russian people know we come to the sun? This is cleansing. This is uh, shining a light on everything. They'll know. But the uh, environment that it's in, or the challenge to it, is this Nine of Swords, which is a nightmare. And that's what we have right now, is a nightmare. Uh, the base of the reading is the Two of Coins, finding that perfect uh, balance of values. And the past of this reading, with this Three of Cups, is uh, this uh, lovely celebration of uh, emotions. In the sky of this reading, with this Ace of Wands, a great big plan, an action, in your face kind of a thing. The uh, likely outcome of the first part of this with this Queen of Coins is uh, that uh, she will rise to her value. The um, signifier for that question is this Nine of Coins fighting for that value. The environment that it's in is this nightmare end of a cycle, typically depicted by a bloody situation. The um, hopes and the fears, Nine of Coins, you know, getting back to um, uh, the all uh, being the enriched uh, person uh, or country uh, that you that you are and be able to display that, and then the uh, likely outcome for the whole thing with these three coins, bringing those coins and putting them up uh, in a holy place for the world to uh, understand and admire. 
I love that. I think it's a terrific reading, if I say so myself. Well, only time will tell whether this uh, these cards are correct or not. So let's uh, try to keep that in the back of our mind and uh, and remember to pray for Ukraine. I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so the Uncommon Tarot. This is uh, the Uncommon Tarot is by Shaheen uh, Miro, uh, who's an intuitive energy worker and artist, with commentary by uh, Teresa Reed, who is the, known as the Tarot Lady from a lot of blogs, the websites, and podcasts. And Uncommon is even defined here. You can just barely see it, but it says uh, not ordinary, remarkably exceptional, sort of as you would see in a dictionary. Uh, so here we go. It's a nice box. Uh, it's got that nice little clasp, which you don't often see on a smaller, and it's like you might expect a perfume to come in this box. It's that kind of quality. Okay, and the material is really has a nice sheen. So it's a beautiful piece of packaging. You know, at least you felt like, um, you know, you're getting a little something for this. The um, inside does have that definition on this foil, silver uh, foil uh, thing, uh, uncommon how to pronounce, ordinary, remarkable, uh, exceptional. And then the book is really a nice little booklet. It's uh, personalized by the artist. It's got some good information in here about him and the tarot lady, uh, Teresa Reed. And um, a little story about why he decided to make these tarot cards, and it goes really back to his youth. Uh, his mother, in front of her children, she would lay out a few tarot cards on the table and ask what they saw, and the cards became kind of a moving uh, picture book uh, for the family. And you'll see what I mean uh, with his design of these cards. Okay, I'll just put this away right back in there. So, uh oh, I think I've got some cards backwards here. Looks like I do. Okay, so they are, uh, as you can see, silver foil gilded. Um, and then they've got a nice weight to them. They're not particularly heavy. They're just about right, actually. And just a typical dark, kind of mysterious back. The front of the cards, though, is beautiful. The images go from, you know, edge to edge. It's a nice, glossy, deep, uh, quality feeling card and with beautiful, rich colors. And uh, Shaheen's Un Uncommon Tarot is a contemporary re-imaging of the Rider Waite Tarot uh, with a collage work uh, melange, uh, rich with worldly people, uh, places, and settings. I mean, you can see. So they're beautiful, beautiful cards. They're not hard to use because in the bottom it just tells you what that card is and then you can take a minute and then pick out the elements in here that are pertinent to what you're uh, reading about. So uh, beautiful cards. This is always a good way to spread the cards out and get your energy into them or get them warmed up for the day or maybe if you're working with somebody your friends are sitting around you can let them mix them up if you don't want to have them shuffle. And uh, so that is the Uncommon Tarot. Hey I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come so ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.